A fracture involving the superior and inferior rami of the pubic bone is a type of pelvic fracture. The pubic bone, or pubis, has two branches, rami, the superior ramus and the inferior ramus, that connect to the ilium and ischium respectively. These fractures can occur due to high energy impacts, such as those from motor vehicle accidents or falls from significant heights, but they can also happen due to lower energy mechanisms, especially in older adults with osteoporosis. Signs and symptoms. Pain, located in the groin, hip, or lower abdomen, which may worsen with leg movements. Swelling and bruising. Visible swelling and bruising may appear around the site of the injury. Difficulty walking. Patients may have trouble standing or walking due to pain. Potential urological issues. Because of the proximity to the bladder and urethra, there may be urinary difficulties in some cases. Diagnosis. Diagnosis of a pubic ramus fracture typically involves a combination of physical examination and imaging studies. Physical exam. The doctor will look for signs of pain, swelling, and bruising in the pelvic area. X-rays. These are the primary imaging technique used to identify fractures in the pelvis. CT scan. For more complex fractures or to assess for associated injuries, a CT scan may be more informative. Treatment depends on the severity of the fracture and whether it's part of a more complex pelvic fracture. Non-operative treatment. Most isolated pubic ramus fractures can be treated non-surgically with rest, pain management, and gradual return to weight-bearing activities as tolerated. Crutches or a walker may be necessary initially to reduce weight-bearing on the injured side. Operative treatment. Surgery is rarely needed for isolated pubic ramus fractures unless they are part of a more complex pelvic fracture with instability. In such cases, surgical intervention may be required to stabilize the pelvic ring.